Hi, this is Gila speaking to you on a bright, sunny, warm day here in Israel. I gather there's been a bit of a heat wave in Britain. Actually, we get a heat wave every day here. Uh, I live in a place called Beit Shemesh, which literally means house of the sun. And by the way, if you didn't know, Bethlehem, Bethlehem means house of bread. But um, today at 32 degrees centigrade, um, it's, I guess, relatively moderate for this time of year. Sometimes it can be a few degrees higher and in other parts of Israel, it can be hotter still and can be humid and that can be very difficult. But we have air conditioning, we're used to it. Anyway, enough of that. It is now three days till uh, Tommy Robinson's court appearance this Thursday, the 4th of July, and possibly going on to the 5th. And so three days to the Tommy Robinson countdown. And if you can possibly go, I'm sorry I can't make it. I would like to go, but it's just not possible. But I will be watching from afar as best I can and uh, probably reporting on what I hear as best I can do. So if you are able to go to the Old Bailey on the 4th of July, try and get there by nine o'clock in the morning. I think it's starting fairly early. However, what I want to talk about today is something that's making the rounds on social media, uh, the story of uh, an elderly, well, maybe not so elderly, uh, a gentleman who's a, apparently a disabled grandfather who was sacked from Asda in Dewsbury because he posted on his Facebook page a sketch by Billy Connolly, which some of his fellow employees who are Muslim found offensive. Now, I am actually religious myself. In fact, I'm an Orthodox Jew. And I'll be honest, what I saw of it, and I didn't get past um, the first minute or so, I found offensive too. I, I don't like all the uh, expletives either, all the F words. I think they're unnecessary. And yes, I found it offensive to take down religion generally, uh, not just Islam, but Christianity or any other uh, religion. But Ben Connolly is a British institution. I actually went to see him many years ago. Actually, I think it was nearly 40 years ago, which kind of ages me, doesn't it? And uh, he was very funny and rather rude. And uh, I remember actually he played uh, Mr. Brown, a wonderful movie about Queen Victoria and her, not really a, an affair, but her love, if you like, of Mr. Brown. And Billy Connolly played that part and he did it extremely well and very sensitively. But some people like him and that's great. It's freedom, freedom of expression, freedom of speech. If you don't like him, well then don't watch him. I don't. <laughs> okay, what's the problem there? Well, let's just think. If I were living in Dewsbury and I saw his Facebook page and I said, wow, this is offensive and complained. Can you imagine that this gentleman, Mr. Brian Leach, uh, would have been sacked? If I were a religious Christian, or religious Hindu, or religious anybody, except, of course, if I were a religious Muslim, a religion of peace, then somehow everything kicks into motion. Now, I know there are a lot of Muslims who live around there, but a lot of non-Muslims too. What about their rights? I mean, the whole thing is complete nonsense, and it is deeply disturbing because it's part of gradually acclimatising British people to being dimmies in our own land. And if you don't know what being a dimmy is, then please get educated. It's a second class, um, actually really third class, deliberately humiliated um, citizen with far fewer rights than Muslims. And everybody comes under Sharia law, whether you're Muslim or not. Unlike, for instance, the Orthodox Jewish law, which not only, only applies to Jews, but apart from actual Jewish status, if you choose to disregard it, that's up to you. Freedom. 
Anyway, so I have written to the CEO of ASDA. I sent him an email. I will reproduce some of it below. And I suggest anybody else concerned actually writes as well. Please do so respectfully, though. Uh, that's very important. But I'm tired of this chutzpah. I'm tired of this arrogance that we must not be offended. Well, everyone gets offended. I get offended. And I'm deeply offended by passages in the Quran which are anti-Semitic, saying that Jews are the most treacherous of people, absolute rubbish and offensive. Or to towards non-Muslims generally, saying that um, we should be subjugated. And if we can't accept Islam as being superior to us, and if we're not Christians or Jews, then we're given the stark choice of being murdered or being forced to convert to Islam. I think that's rather more than just offensive, don't you? Okay, thank you so much for listening. Have a good day. And don't forget, three days left in the Tommy Robinson countdown to his trial beginning on Thursday the 4th of July. Goodbye.